Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how we can create the forms in October CMS. So let's start how we can create the forms. So let's go to the CMS page, go to the settings, go to the update and plugins, go to install plugins. And here you need to add room IT. IT. Let's check the forms. Forms. Let's check forms. 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 Let's check it is coming or not. Forms. Builder by Renato. No magic forms. We don't require, but we can use the. But no. Forms IT. Let's check Uber CMS Groom ID. No, it's not Uber CMS forms. It's come in the categories of forms. Forms it's here, forms it's here, custom forms, magic forms is there. Contact form, store plugin, we don't require it. Forms, forms, no, no, nothing. Group IT. Group IT. Forms. So it is that form. Installation is 164. So you need to add groom IT dot forms here. I just copy it. And I'm going to add in this room ID dot forms. Install it. So it's basically you can add multiple forms into your project. So what it's it's came to the with the forms. Go to the add form, and here you need to add the contact form. Contact form. Okay, this is contact. This ID, and here you can add. First of all, create these forms. Go to add field, text field. Now, for now, I'm going to add the name and email. You can add the classes accordingly. Name is done. Let's save this field. Add one more field that is email. Okay, these two fields I'm going to add it for now. Uh, okay, so this is done. Go to the save button. Okay, this form is done. Go to the CMS page. Uh, create any CMS page, contact page. Contact page. Done. Okay, so layout we haven't created any layout but it's default so after that you need to go to the components and we are using forms so just go and render this form so this will come and this the data will become okay so go and save this form after going to preview this form what will happens contact page we are sorry but something went wrong we can't display the page okay Let's check to the logs what exactly it suggests. Plugins, uh, HTTP CMS, storage, logs, system log. Go to the last. What it suggests. Mm, we are not getting this one. Let's go and delete this and try to save this. And again, run this window. Is it logging anything? Okay, it's logging. Form key is not valid. So we need to go to the forms. Okay, so let's go to the this forms. Ah, no, there's not. Here you need to go to the documentation. Here you need to add this key form. Uh, where it is? This is not, this is not, this is, this is the form, hidden form. I'm just going to copy this and going to add uh, this form page. Okay, just mark the enter. And above, you can add this form key and just save this form. Save, preview. So it's gonna be contact form. Save, preview. Okay, contact page. So contact page, where it is? It is the same form they are using. So where is my contact? Form. 
it's calling all the data okay let's review uh, no layout preview so this is the without the layout so the header footer part is not uh, like uh, aligned or not separated so that you can call that header and footer for now the contact form is there so i'm going to put the in my ration card and here we are going to add the royal this mail submit because the data will not coming like the whole the script and the css is not adding at the moment because the header part and the footer part is not there if i go to the um, forms and check contact form no we are going to check the submissions there would be no submissions because the form is not localized properly okay so we need to uh, separate the things like the header footer so that the css will come and uh, adding then we can then with this form will going to be applicable to and the java uh, scripting is not there so this is the main issue for that because i have already implemented this part like uh, the cms pages and all so the make sure the header and the footer would be there so let me add the separate header and footer and then come back to this contact form and but if uh, if you are already prepared the cms page and the, the layout for them is different different then definitely it will work so we can change the theme let's check if we can gonna, gonna change the theme uh let's check and change the theme i have the main theme let's gonna change and check the things okay uh, where is my theme front end theme uh let my default theme going to be activated and let's the this contact page to be reloaded this is not there so let's go to the forms pages and cms so here we have no page let's add the cms page contact us page contact us okay, here i'm going to add a uh, um static all static layout and here i'm going to add the component that is forms okay and here we need to add the form key so i'm going to add the form key copy and here i'm going to add this one here so oh no this is not the back end so i guess this is contact page we are all adding yes but it is here this is a page okay i'm going to add this line uh, save this form preview contact us error okay let's check the contact form okay save preview the contact form page is there now red i'm going to add rashni khan and here i'm going to add the email okay i'm going to try to submit the form has been submitted let's go to the sub forms and let's go to submissions see the data is there rashnikan and all rashnikan okay so this is how we can do that manipulations and forming the uh, saving the data in the same respect okay so this is a very basic like uh, email email configuration is there if you go to the forms and if you go to the contact form page and there's a description you can add success messages you can change success message success text you can change extra form wrapper button classes you can add okay and uh, in the same case notifications whom you want to set the default, default template whom you want to send the email addresses you can add and here also if you go to the settings and go to your uh, this uh, well, uh, forms plugin settings so here you can add the, the notification here you add you can add the multiple email addresses in which you are going to send, receive the emails and there is a recapture functionality as well so you can fill up the uh, side key and the secret key and this will be automatically going to be like uh, added in that uh, form and you can easily play with that okay so this is in build each and every fields are there so if you go to the builder sorry forms and uh, if you go to the forms uh, sorry where it is forms and if you go and check the field there's a text field text area checkbox drop down so every kind of fields are there so you can use this field and uh, take do any uh, any of that you can use okay so uh, i think scroll part is not working for my side 
because here we have the upload files also so upload files is there checklist checkbox everything is there so you can upload the resume you can make that form resume part so it is a replacement of contact form 7 in the wordpress but you can use in that uh, page so and you can create multiple forms okay so this is how we can uh, create the forms or contact us form email subscription form so you can add with that thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please do share like and comment and if you have any issue in that just let me know Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.